Hello everyone, this is Daryl20, and welcome to episode 27 of Daryl20's Let's Play of all the mods at Skyblock. Holy cow, that is fast. I love everything about it. Whoo! That is good. That is good. Wow. Wow. That is... That is something. That is something, isn't it? Whoo! That was, that was something. Ah... Uh, I'm a little dizzy from watching all that fast crafting going on. Uh, hey, today's episode, I would like to do a few things. I'd like to get a compact machine that is maximum size. Did that between episodes real quick. Also made myself a laser drill times four and some stasis chambers. Uh, remember, you can put more than four. I think you can put nine for size. So technically, you can have 36 laser drills uh, for, the state, for, the, for the fluid. I don't think we need that many. But just noting it, uh, because we want to get today some ether gas. Uh, ether gas, useful thing for industrial foregoing. Uh, it's like the top tier end game resource uh, in industrial foregoing. The only way to get it uh, is by using a laser fluid drill um, with a purple laser lens. And it has to be above an active wither. Um, and you get a teeny tiny amount of ether gas per operation. Uh, and it can go in any biome. So what we need is a purple laser lens. Uh, in addition to some of the other things that we've got already prepped, we can put it anywhere in the world, negative 64 to plus 256. Um, I'm going to put it in a compact machines dimension. I decided to go compact machines for our wither stuff so that we can uh, activate that. And I thought that would be cool, right? Um, so a few plans for today. I want to get the wither go builder going. I want to have automated compact machines happening and, you know, a handful of other things. So let's get started with the plans. So first things first, I want to have uh, this wither dude chilling like right around here-ish. Is that cool? I think that's cool. And we can pop in there. And I'm looking forward to the point where I can have access to my, whatchamacallit, cross-dimensionally. But we'll get there. All right, there we go. Chunk load engaged. Sweet. So how about over here we start building our first cage, right? Do I even need to put a floor? I'm gonna say yes, right? One, two, three, four. Probably want, we want five, is five good enough? I always forget. Right? And then here we're gonna have you, 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 you. Cool. It should be enough because let's be honest, they're not getting out and they're not going. And for fun, I'm totally going to kill a weather with a sword and see how that goes. Because that seems like a good time to me, right? Uh, do I have a little gadget that can help me out with this a little bit? That would be nice. How about a good old build to me? Does that look good? Now, in theory, the wither shouldn't be able to get out of here, right? I would think not, but I can get in and out if I wish. Oh, uh, that's right. When I build with, with that stuff, he gets all... He gets all silly about his connected textures. But that's fixed. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's probably something I'm doing wrong. So this might be a little tight, but we're going to try it. And if he breaks free, I've got a ridiculous sword and armor that I shouldn't have any problems with, right? This might be a little tight for like an automated, but we'll see what happens, right? Withering Heights. So is he trapped in there? That's a good question. I think, generally speaking, you want the, the Y level to be a little bit higher. Yeah, see? I had a feeling that would happen. But also that. <laughs> you see why I wasn't too worried? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Do you see why I wasn't too worried? Because remember, he kind of, like, floats a little bit upwards when he's, when he's spawning. So... You know, that's a thing. Um, 
I might want this to be one Y level higher. And I'm thinking that, you know what, I have a question. Is... What's that mod? What's that thingy that I'm thinking of? What's that one that lets you connect to... It's been a while since I've used it. Eh, let's get this going again and I'll... It'll come to me. Alright, is that safe? Now, do I even need a stasis dude on this? I doubt it, right? I mean, I made one for funsies, but... Oh, look at him! Does he sneak out of the top there like that? Can Withers get out of a one block tall space? I didn't think they could. I mean, I usually always go, you know, full protection because I'm not in a compact machine. But I guess so, huh? Nice. Well trapped. Okay, cool. So now let's get our fluid laser base, which I want kind of in the center of this thing. Okay, and then laser drills. I right to think that I want you facing this way, and there should be particles going on. I might just have to... Goodness, I'm bad at places like this. Uh, hopefully a red will let me rotate you. Is there a foregoing wrench? This wrench doesn't work. Isn't there something for rotating stuff? I could try to Placing you is always a little bit tricky. I like basically want it that way, right? But well, I mean, I guess touching it works, right? Let me get this placed right. All right if I'm not mistaken, the Crescent Hammer from Thermal will let me do this. There we go. Now, do you actually get a connected target? Yes, good. Thank you, and then you should update with target. Yes, perfect. And happy. Nice. All right, cool. And then you need the purple lens. And that should be all there is to it, right? All right, so I'm gonna get my purple lens and some power going for these guys. I need whatever the, the default lens is. What's the default color lens? Oh, I see. Okay, so four glass and a LaTeX. Let's just teach you how to make that. Does that sound cool? That way you're ready to go. We just need a purple dye. Actually, that's right, I have this stuff, I always forget. And we only need one purple lens, or did we need more than one? Uh, we'll start with one and we'll see where it goes from there. I think in the item one you can have multiples, but I forget about fluids if you need that. And then uh, how about just some flux points? And then let's also get a tank, an ender tank, uh, that I'm going to choose to use the color, how about light blue? Does that sound cool? I don't think we're using light blue yet, are we? Does anyone remember what colors I used there? Nope, we're not using light blue yet. But you're gonna chill there, and you're gonna get the purple dye. And then you guys 
can each do the Barrel 20 network thing. Technically, you only need one, I believe. Right? But that's pretty cool. And then we should be getting a super teeny tiny amount of liquid, which might automatically be going into here. Or not, I'm not sure. Are you not working? The only thing you can get with purple is keep a gas. Maybe it's because he's not right under it. I honestly don't know. But he's definitely not collecting the stuff. Do you think he needs to be a Y level deeper? You could try that. I feel like I always have this problem. And then the purple lens, and then if I... Hey, there we go, ether gas, yay! Now we're cooking. So it does hurt him a little bit, but I bet if I put the stasis chamber under him, he won't get hurt, and that would be cool. If I put a stasis chamber here. Does that lock him in place? Is he stasis? I think he is, actually. Yeah, see, he's not moving anymore. I think he's stasis locked. That's cool. I like that. And I'm pretty sure the stasis also heals him, so he'll constantly get healed and not worry about the whole ether gas thing. Now for you, we probably just want to set you to push to the top, and then boom, ether gas goes directly into the ender tank. Nice, right? It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Alright, now we probably want another one of these. Now I'm thinking I might want it to be a Y level up, so that we can handle... Um, and we might want to make it a little bit bigger, right? One, two, three, four, five. We should probably go with seven. And I'm thinking, like I said, also a Y level up. We'll just make it a little bit of a larger area here. I mean, though, five seems fine. We'll start with five and we'll see how it goes. Go a little bit higher to make sure that there's plenty of room. So that might be a little bit too high. We could probably pull away with that. That should be safe, right? One whole high Y level higher than everything. Okay, and let's just build and gadget this. Looks like we're going to need more of this stuff. Back in a few, let me get this built. So now because I have a one block tall space that I want to live in, let's make you. Sweet. So, boom, boom. Love this thing, it's the best. It's so the best. It's the coolest. Little shrinky dude. So now, if I need to get in here, I totally can. Right. So in the center-ish, let's see, one, two, two, one. This is probably more the center. That's where we're going to build our wither builder, right? And then you get to have you. 
set up like that. So now, let's get home. And what I'd like to make is, how are we on channels over here? 26? Yeah, we're cool. Get me another storage bus. And then I should be able to stick this guy here. 340. And then in a moment, we'll have more. Right? Because chunk loading. This is my is it chunk loaded test. And clearly it is because we just hit 350. Cool. So now if I want a wither builder. Uh, technically I only ever have to make this once, right? But what I can do is teach you how to make this thing. And that should be cool. 0.135 buckets of ether gas. Really? Is that what we're going with? 135 millibuckets? Is that really the number we chose? Okay, if you insist. Uh, we need a couple netherite ingots. I'm just going to throw four in there for you. Why don't you want to start? There you go. Now you're cooking. Sweet. It's doing the thing. It's making it. It's making it. It's crafting up all the tiers. How cool is that? Awesome. It worked. Dude, A2, I'm telling you, really good. Really good with the fluid handling these days. Like, wow, am I impressed. I'm serious. All right, now... How are we doing for Wither Skeleton Skulls? Enough that it's on the first page, which is pretty cool. 571 of those. So let's get a crafting card. Okay. And an interface. Okay. And an ender chest. Let's go with black. Does that sound cool? So black, 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 which is the opposite of white, 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 is going to be uh, responsible for storing items that we want to keep and transfer to our remote compact machines dimensions, right? So you're going to go chill right over here. Okay. And you're going to get the interface... Okay, plenty of channels available. And then a laser IO card. And then I would like you to keep in stock Soul Sand. Thirty-two with the crafting card. And then Wither Skeleton Skulls. How about sixteen? Okay. Now you uh, we're going to need more item cards. If I do that. Beautiful. All right, so you're going to extract eight items at a time. But I don't want you extracting yet. Over here, we're going to insert. But we want a filter. A counting filter. Okay. Uh, for soul sand. And wither skeleton skulls. Cool. So that now, when I enable you on extract, what should fill up in here is exactly that many. And then done. Cool. Got it? And then we can use this going forward for other things, right? We can stock all kinds of stuff in here. 
and that would be cool, right? How cool would that be? It would be super cool. And that's how we're going to keep in stock the remote dimensions, okay? Boo rain. Boo. Boo rain. No rain. Okay, so now, back in here. Uh, I think we're cool, I think we're cool. So we've got our Wither Builder. Uh, what we probably want is a Vacuum Hopper. And a regular ender chest, the white one, so that we can vacuum up the drops that happen, right? Uh, and then we're going to need a way to automatically kill him, so we want to just go Mob Crusher? Is that a good way to kill the way? Yeah. I may not even need the Vacuum Hopper then. Right? The Mob Crusher? Mm, more netherite scrap, because of course I need more netherite scrap. Let's crusher you. And then what was it, basalt? Did I leave it in there? I did. And then we said crushing factory is the best way. Cool. Okay. Uh, yeah, Crusher should be should be good for killing the Wither. No. Why do you not want to let me do the thing when I control click you? Like, are we missing something that I'm not aware of? So you need an advanced machine frame. But when I go do this, it seems fine, right? Yep. And he's crafting away. Interesting, right? Isn't that weird? I don't know. Not too worried about it. The so mob crusher should be good for killing the weather with, right? Uh, and then we'll probably want a range upgrade. So we'll just get the four because it really doesn't matter. Okay. And then how about some energy cables from power? Okay, so now we would like to shrink. I'm gonna actually move you. Uh, so the weather builder will sit here. Okay, uh, I would like probably laser IO to do some things here. So how about we place this guy here? How about we put him here? That seems like a good place. Right? Now you, I would like to have a run with redstone signal going on okay and you've got the stuff so if i set you just to extract and i set you just to insert and that and that are you quick yeah you're pretty quick i would call that good sweet all right good times um and then how about the energy can chill here with an energy extract Energy insert. Boom. Nice. And then how about the crusher facing there? This is going to be the sloppiest of dire wires. But that works pretty good. And then on the up, you can have energy. Nice. You can have your range upgrade, show working area. It'll be the whole shebang there. That should be good. And we'll see if this works, yeah? So if I just give you a ignored, because I didn't bring a level with me. So what should happen is as soon as he forms, the mob crusher will kill him and get his stuff. Nice. And then on the up, we can, on orange, extract. And over here, you can insert on orange. Cool? And now we're good. 
So now back home for a sec. Let's get wireless redstone happening. And let's designate. location for the weather drop so you and the stars that i've gotten so far can chill here in a functional storage drawer times two maybe i want four of them let's get them Locked and linked. Loving it. Okay, let's get some add-ons real quick. I want one of each tier two add-on actually. Just to make that wither killer thing run a little bit better. I don't even know if it can accept them all, but we'll find out. Uh, what else, what else, what else, what else? I want a wireless redstone, probably from RF tools. So how about a receiver and a transmitter? <clears throat> There we go. And then if I do that, your channel is one, your channel is one. I get a lever out here. And then this is the on off lever that's gonna control whether or not withers are spawning inside our compact dimension. Cool. Then I place you like that, or like this. I'm always bad at placing these things, but that should work, right? So channel one, boom, boom, boom. So you're gonna chill in there constantly making ether gas for me, and then you're controlled with a redstone signal to turn this on and off. So if we turn this on right now, with the lever out here, in a moment, we should see another star start showing up, right? So we currently have two nether stars, okay? With that lever switched, if we pop in here, we should see the weather spawning, and we do. And then shortly after he spawns, he will be killed in a new one. Eh? Eh? And if we look in here, we should have three nether stars. Boom. Okay. Now, I would like three more of these boosters. So I need six endurium plates and a bunch of netherite. Enderium's annoying for me, but I think it's about time we automate it. So Enderium ingots are smelted from Enderium dust, which is made like this. And you probably need to know how to make that as a pulverizer only recipe. Okay, great. That sounds cool. Thanks for that. that and then crusher because i don't have a pulverizer is there a chance that there's an ender dust yes that's enderium ender dust from ae2 and the pulse grinder that one and that one really none of them All right, I know I have a pulverizer here. Looks like we're gonna have to have a pattern dude on it. So how about um, that with an auto output? I got him. We just need to connect him to a channel. 
Might be getting a little paid on, believe it or not. Uh, how are we for channels over here? Hilariously large. Number of channels in use. Um, yeah, no matter how you slice it, that's a bad position. I don't want to go up. Unless I'm going to throw a facade on that thing. None of this is good, is it? Not really. You know what I could do? Let's whack. Let's move this. On the right, you should be open to energy coming in. Okay. And then we can salvage this. And this. And then we can get the flux plug on the generators network to chill right here. And that'll open up a little bit of space for me. Cool. Excellent. All right, now. P2P tunnel, memory card. Copy current device to memory card. Loaded current device configuration. Cable it up. Nice. Okay. And then you get the ender dust. You get the crafting. Where's the crusher? You can have these two. And then I don't know quite how to handle the fact that I need more smelting factory sides. How many channels are in use here already? Eight? Rip. Uh, processing pattern terracotta. We're going to have to figure out a solution for this, but for now I'm just going to swap it with nether brick. And that'll work. So now if I want enderium times 10, we're missing three platinum. I feel like we need a bunch of netherite for this as well. Sweet. And this will tell us if I did everything correctly. Right? Looks like it's working, right? You have augments in you? Not really. If it becomes a point where I need more augments, I will do it. Sweet. Ten endurium ingots. Okay. And then I said I needed six of these in total. Okay, and then if I wanted this, one, two, cool. Three, and I should have a fourth one here already which I can then combine into the dimension card. So am I correct to assume that this means I can use this in my dimensions? Because that's pretty stinking cool. Uh, let's put you away. Let's put you guys away. Let's go test it, shall we? So first things first, how are we doing on Nether Stars? 23 of them looking good. Looking like my wither automation is working pretty well, right? And I have access to my... That is pretty awesome. Look at that. I have access from here. That is stinking cool. How cool is that? I mean, I think that's really cool. I defer to you all, but I now literally have access to my AE network from anywhere. Any dimension, anytime, anywhere. That is awesome. And unlimited nether stars. So I think I'm going to wrap up the episode here. Uh, we'll come back next time. And now that we have access to unlimited nether stars, we have access to even more cool stuff. 
uh, that we can use as needed. For now, that was my sign off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Take it easy.